The war over face masks. Yes, in our highly politicized climate, it seems like everybody has to be on some kind of team against everybody else. This latest example is whether or not you are for wearing a face mask or you're against it. On one side, those who are for it say by not wearing a face mask, you're putting their life at risk and being selfish. On the other side, those who say that by being forced to wear one, their freedom is being stolen from them. Now, can we set all of that aside for just a minute? Set aside your preconceived notions. What does science say? What do the facts say about face masks? Do they actually make us safer? Do they actually prevent the spread of viruses? The facts right now. I'm Ben Swan, and this is Truth in Media. Guys, welcome to the show. So across the country, it seems very simple. Everyone is fighting over this issue of face masks right now. In fact, in the state of Michigan, Governor Gretchen Whitmer has issued an executive order that tells businesses they must force customers to wear a face mask. And if they don't, the owner of that business could lose their license to operate in the state of Michigan. All over the country, we're seeing signs, people saying you must wear a face mask. Governors are mandating it. And even President Trump himself wore a face mask at a Navy hospital recently. It is all anyone talks about right now. And as I said, there are very strong feelings about this issue, as with everything else. But if we set aside feelings and we just look at facts, what do the facts say about wearing a face mask? What does science say about face masks and whether or not they prevent the spread of viruses like COVID-19? Believe it or not, there have been a number of studies that have been done over the past decade. One in 2009, 2010, 2012, 2016, 2017, 2019, and yes, even this year in 2020. A number of controlled studies have been done that look at this very issue, whether or not wearing medical face masks with N95 respirators in them, and whether or not wearing cloth masks actually reduce the risk of a virus. So what did each of these studies find? Well, actually, they all found the very same thing. Now, these were studies that looked at N95 respirator masks. That's not the same thing as just hanging a piece of cloth over your face or creating your own mask at home. We'll get to that in a minute. But let's start with the most scientific and medically advanced mask, the N95 respirator mask. These studies, controlled studies, took a look at those N95 respirator masks and whether or not they prevent the spread of virus. Here's what they found. For the study in 2019, among 2,862 randomized participants, 2,371 completed the study and accounted for 5,180 HCW healthcare worker seasons. Among outpatient healthcare personnel, N95 respirators versus medical masks as worn by participants in this trial resulted, get this, in no significant difference in the incidence of laboratory confirmed influenza. Did you get that? In the 2019 study, there was no significant difference by wearing an N95 respirator mask. It happened again in 2020. Look at this one. A total of six RCTs involving 9,171 participants were included. There were no statistically significant differences in preventing laboratory-confirmed influenza, laboratory-confirmed respiratory viral infections, laboratory-confirmed respiratory infection, and influenza-like illness using N95 respirators and surgical masks. By the way, just to be clear, in the 2009, 2010, 2012, 2016, and 2017 studies, they all found the very same thing as the 2019 and 2020 studies. Again, all of these are RTCs, randomized control tests, that are essentially set up to determine whether or not these N95 respirator masks help to prevent the spread of viruses in this setting. And all of these studies found that they do not. Statistically, they do not. Now there's another study that was also done in 2020. It was done by a group of researchers in Hong Kong. The study was conducted just before COVID-19 hysteria took over and the results of it were released just a few weeks ago. And once again, those researchers found the very same thing, that there was in fact no statistical reason to believe that face masks will protect you, but improper use of a face mask 
actually puts you at greater risk of contamination. Look at this. In pooled analysis, we found no significant reduction in influenza transmission with the use of face masks. Our systematic review found no significant effect of face masks on transmission of laboratory confirmed influenza. Proper use of face masks is essential because improper use might increase the risk for transmission. And there is more here because remember, over and over we've been told something else that's pretty significant. We have been told that you must wear a face mask when you go out. And these N95 respirator masks are obviously the very best thing to wear, right? Which as we're seeing is not true because those N95 respirator masks don't really protect you from transmitting and catching a virus. However, we're also being told that if you don't have an N95 respirator mask, which by the way, the vast majority of people walking around in face masks do not have, they're not wearing N95 respirator masks. They're just wearing a cloth mask over their face. And what we've been told over and over is that if you just wear a cloth mask over your face, it's better than nothing, so you should do that. And so because of that, we have tens of millions of people walking around with cloth masks on their face. Now get this. In 2015, there was actually a study done taking a look at medical masks versus just a cloth mask and whether or not wearing a cloth mask would protect against the spread of a virus. And what that study found in 2015 should alarm you. Not only does wearing a cloth mask not prevent the spread of a virus, it actually can put you at greater risk for catching the virus. Look at this. According to researchers, this study is the first RCT of cloth masks and the results caution against the use of cloth masks. This is an important finding to inform occupational health and safety. Moisture retention, reuse of cloth masks, and poor filtration may result in increased risk of infection. Further research is needed to inform the widespread use of cloth masks globally. However, as a precautionary measure, Cloth masks should not be recommended for HCWs, that's healthcare workers, particularly in high risk situations and guidelines need to be updated. So for those of you who are watching who are doubting all of this, please show me your RCTs, your randomized control tests that demonstrate how using an N95 respirator mask actually prevents the spread of a virus. I would love to see it. If you're watching this and you say, well, a cloth mask is better than nothing because I heard some reporter on television say so, or I heard some official um, with the NIH just announce that this is true, please show me the randomized controlled test that verifies that that is true. Because in 2015, that study was done that looked at cloth masks and found not only does it not protect you, it can actually put you at risk. And this is very important information because we are hearing over and over from executives around the country, meaning governors and state leaders and mayors across the country that you must wear a face mask to protect yourself and to protect others and to not do so is an act of selfishness. And what they're telling you to do according to these scientific studies is to actually put yourself at greater risk. You're not protecting the population, you're actually putting yourself at risk. So we know that with the cloth masks, that study shows that you put yourself at greater risk. And let's go even deeper on this because the reality is that by wearing an N95 respiratory mask, again, there are other health issues aside from virus that can come up. The reality is wearing a face mask, not just for people with, with compromised immune systems, but wearing a face mask on a regular basis is unhealthy for you. And there are multiple studies that show that. The N95 mask, which filters out 95% of particles because it impairs respiratory exchange or breathing to a greater degree than a soft mask and is more often associated with headaches. In one such study, researchers surveyed 212 healthcare workers, 47 males and 165 females, asking about presence of headaches with N95 mask use, duration of the headaches, type of headaches, and if the person had pre-existing headaches. They found that about a third of the workers developed headaches with the use of the mask. Most had pre-existing headaches that were worsened by mask wearing, and 60% required pain medications for relief. As to the cause of the headaches, while straps and pressure from the mask could be causative, the bulk of the evidence points towards hypoxia and or hypercapnia as the cause. That is, a reduction in blood oxygenation or an elevation in blood CO2. 
It is known that the N95 mask, if worn for hours, can reduce blood oxygenation as much as 20%, which can lead to a loss of consciousness. There's another danger to wearing these masks on a daily basis, especially if you're wearing it for several hours. When a person is infected with a respiratory virus, they will expel some of that virus with each breath. But if you're wearing a mask, especially an N95 mask, you're breathing back in the virus every time you attempt to expel it. Now, as I say these things, there are those who are gonna watch and say, well, that's, that's simply not true. That's not true. You're, wearing a mask is not worse for you, it's better for you. And you're not saying that based on science. You're not saying that based on scientific evidence. You're saying it because it's what you're being told over and over and over again in the media and by politicians and by these doctors who are in positions that are political positions, not in medical positions. And over and over, they're repeating this to you. And by the way, even the, the biggest doctor of them all in this country, Dr. Anthony Fauci, who keeps talking about this issue, referred to wearing a face mask as mostly symbolic. Listen to his words. He called it mostly symbolic. So why is it that everyone's being required to wear one? And this is what you need to know. The reality is, number one, wearing an N95 face mask does not prevent the spread of virus. Number two, wearing a cloth mask does not prevent the spread of virus, but can lead to a greater chance for infection from a virus. And number three, if you have other health conditions, N95 masks can actually make it worse. Now here's what that all means. It means that this talk of protecting you from a virus with a mask is not based in science. I've shown you the science. It's not based in science or fact. And if it's not, then is wearing a face mask really about protecting the public? Or does it become about submission of the public? Are we being forced to submit merely because politicians want us to? Again, if Fauci calls wearing a face mask mostly symbolic, then let's stop dealing with things that are symbolism and deal in medicine.